friends today in this video we will discuss about the functions that are executed before and after main function in c programming language so let us start so this is the program through which we will understand the constructor and destructor part in c programming language so in this program as we can see that there is a constructor defined and there is a destructor defined so whenever our main function will be executed first of all our constructor will be called and in the constructor this function is defined so this function will be executed so it will execute this printf statement and it will print startup code before main so this line will be printed at first location then what will happen then main function will be executed and it will print hello okay so at the second printf statement hello will be printed so after that it will return 0 then main function will be ended after that our destructor will be called and in the destructor part this function is defined my cleanup fun so it will call this function my cleanup fun and inside this function we will print this printf statement cleanup code after main so in the end this line will be executed so output will be startup code before main then hello and after that cleanup code after main right we will see the program output in dot cpp file also let us start so this is the program which we are watching so let us run this program and we'll see the output So as you can see the output is startup code before main then hello then cleanup code after main. So first of all our constructor function has been called then main function and after that destructor function will be called. So this is the sequence of constructor and destructor before main and after main. Thank you for watching.